Recent news says that the world's largest battery company has a new breakthrough on batteries that can power airplanes. It will be the first time ever to witness a battery for aviation. Apart from that, the same company is planning to mass-produce better batteries for the famous electric car Tesla. It would be impossible to take away batteries from our electrified lives. Batteries are part of EVs. Unlike the batteries used to power devices, the batteries that power EVs are expensive to manufacture. One of the most important parts of an EV, the battery can add up to 40% of the cost of the car. A lot of research continues to be done to make better batteries. So what can we know about the latest update about this battery? Let's go through it together on this channel. Welcome to Evolutionary. About one-third of total battery sales in the world come from CATL, China's largest battery manufacturer. Currently, CATL provides EV batteries to Volkswagen, BMW, Ford, and its biggest client, Tesla. Most Powerful Battery at a recent Shanghai Auto Expo, CATL unveiled their most potent battery to date that will be able to power electric aircraft by fulfilling both energy requirements and safety requirements. Also, their new battery allows EVs to travel more than 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. You can imagine traveling from Sydney to Melbourne in one sitting. The majority of EV batteries have an energy density below 300 watt-hour per kilogram. The new battery from CATL claims to nearly double that amount, which has an energy density of 500 watt-hour per kilogram. Currently available small aircraft with electric engines run at 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram of specific energy. According to experts, this number will need to be between 400 and 500 watt-hours per kilogram for electric aircraft to really take off. For electric aviation batteries, high specific energy is necessary, but we also need a battery that can provide power for takeoff. About a 3 to 1 power ratio is required for takeoff compared to that required for cruising. According to John Fletcher, a professor of engineering at UNSW, an aircraft battery needs to deliver around three times as much power to get a jet in the air as it does to keep it cruising. Unfortunately, the company has not provided much additional information both technical and commercial, including the price, the number of times the battery can be recharged, or the amount of power it can generate. Even so, the fact that there are batteries that can power up the plane already sounds incredible today. It is possible that a battery with more capacity to enable the plane to take off will be available in time. The brand refers to its latest product as a condensed battery. The battery employs a micron-level net structure that can improve battery stability and efficiency. In addition, CATL claims that their condensed battery makes use of a variety of cutting-edge techniques. We'll be able to see this new type to be utilized in both road transportation and aviation this year since it is going to be in mass production according to CATL themselves. M3P New Technology in addition to its powerful new battery, CATL is also beginning production on its M3P batteries, which use innovative doping techniques to increase energy density by about 15% compared to LFP batteries. These new batteries are also more affordable than traditional nickel and cobalt-based batteries. BMW has already agreed to use the M3P batteries, and Tesla is expected to follow suit. Even at this point, CATL says that its cylindrical batteries have three times the lifespan of current models. In addition, the company is testing even larger 4695 cells, which could lead to greater volume utilization and energy density. CATL has yet to reveal who would receive the inexpensive M3P cells, whereas BMW has agreed to a contract for these performance cylindrical batteries. Because Tesla is a big customer of CATL's LFP batteries, the Model Y and Model 3 are expected to get the M3P batteries as well. CATL, the world's largest EV battery producer, claimed this year that it will bring to market cells that outperform the energy density of both its own LFP batteries in the Tesla Model 3 standard range and the 4680 cells in the Model Y, all at comparable production costs. Tesla reduced tax credit. For the sixth time this year, Tesla has reduced the price of two of its popular model, Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in the US, as the world's leading EV maker is attempting to maintain its lead in an increasingly crowded EV industry. 
the company specifically reduced the price of the Model Y by $3,000 and the rear-wheel drive Model 3 by $2,000. The change comes after revised battery component sourcing requirements restricted the RWD Model 3's eligibility for a full tax credit. The revision of the tax rebate policy for EV sales imposes two new conditions, totaling $3,750 in tax credits that have gone fully effect in the beginning of this year. To qualify for the first credit, the new rules require that 50% of the value of the car's battery components be manufactured or built in North America. The second requirement is that 40% of the value of minerals in the vehicle's battery, such as lithium, cobalt, and nickel, be derived from the U.S. or a designated trade partner. In other words, if one of the standards for the Tesla Model 3 RWD's battery is not met, the federal tax credit will be decreased from $7,500 to $3,750. If neither of these standards is met, the car will not be eligible for a tax credit. The new $39,990 price tag reaffirms the RWD Model 3 as Tesla's least priced vehicle. However, this model does not meet one of the requirements due to the minerals in its batteries originating in China. As a result, the vehicle's tax credit has been reduced from $7,500 to $3,500. Thankfully, the tax credit modification has no effect on other Tesla automobiles. Solid State Batteries Zhang has something to say about solid-state batteries, which are widely regarded as the holy grail of battery science. The expectation is that they will allow for faster charging times while avoiding the risk of battery fires, which are common with semi-liquid and combustible batteries. Toyota is banking on them to help it join the EV revolution, while Volkswagen has made a significant investment in QuantumScape, a U.S. startup attempting to develop commercially viable solid-state batteries. Zhang told investors that his company is struggling to develop a technologically feasible and competitive solution based on solid-state battery technology. That comes as no surprise. StoreDot is also working on bringing solid-state batteries to market, but stated last October that commercial production is at least a decade away. What we expect as expected from a very large company, CATDL is able to continue to show itself through increasingly sophisticated battery innovations. Battery design has been compared to a gold rush, as researchers push the boundaries of materials chemistry to create lighter, longer-lasting, safer, and less expensive batteries that charge faster. Starting from a battery that is more energy-dense to being able to power up planes is the reason CATEL can keep its position as the world leader in battery manufacture. What is your opinion about this breakthrough? Share it in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to us to get the latest updates on EVs.